Hey collectors, so here's a weird video I guess, but first I'm going to do a little story here of this car. This is the uh, third generation Suzuki Jimny, and uh, the Jimny was originally a K-class uh, vehicle in Japan, but it grew and grew and they have alternate versions, so some of them are not K-class anymore. But this third generation could actually be a K-class car with a 660cc uh, uh, engine, but if it was an export market vehicle, it might be a little bit bigger and have a 1460cc engine making 86 horsepower. Uh, the reason why the Jimny has been around for so long uh, is it's actually, it is a four-wheel drive system. Granted on this one, it's a part-time four-wheel drive, so there's no central differential or viscous coupling, so basically if it's a dry road, it can only be in two-wheel drive or you're going to start grinding gears and stuff. So you really only want to engage four-wheel drive on a slippery surface in this particular vehicle. But still, it's better than like a bunch of the cute utes that really can't go off-road. Okay, anyways, apparently over 2.8 million of these Jimnys have been sold in over almost 200 countries uh, up through September of 2018, according to Wikipedia. So it's obviously very successful. <coughs> now... Back on uh, January 22nd, 2021, I did a video on this. This is an Aoshima branded vehicle. This is actually 164 scale. I checked the wheelbase and it matches up. Um, this is listed as a Beam 164 on eBay, but it's not 164 because this third generation and fourth generation Jimny have the same wheelbase, uh, whether it's a K-Class or an export market. And basically this is around 160. 70 is, 70 is scale according to my calipers you can see you know the axle length is different right this is shorter it's a smaller vehicle it also looks a little bit narrower as well so but anyways doesn't really bother me so much i picked it up uh loose uh, because i also have a video on this thing that's a little turbo rc 176 scale mini and it's pretty cool but uh you know i thought it'd be interesting to do a, a body swap and now I'm thinking maybe if I could swap the wheels on this thing, then maybe I can make an RC truck out of this thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, measuring up the wheel bases, they seem kind of similar. All right? It's it might be fudgeable. It might not. I don't know. Let's take this thing apart. Yeah. All right. So there's some posts there. I just snapped them. Actually, I broke them. And you know, look at this thing. This little thing has a. You know, pretty decent looking interior and stuff like that. Let's take a better angle here. Alright, so obviously it's got some monster aftermarket wheels or something like that. But uh, that'll be interesting. So the question is, uh, you know, wheelbase wise, is it would work, right? Uh, the battery here, though, is going to collide with uh, the dashboard, so i got to remove this dashboard, it seems. So I'll probably have to grab some pliers, my rusty, cheap pliers. Let's see if I can snap this out. No, oh, it's pretty hard in there. Uh, nope. Well, I'm wondering if it'll take the windshield off with it. You know, I don't want to crack the windshield, so... It's definitely, I think that shininess is like super glue. Oh, I think it's pinned in. You can see, I can see some studs there. So maybe if I, well, it's pinned in, but I think it's actually glued and pinned in. So, oh, there we go. I apparently snapped that thing off as well. So yeah, this is a, it's actually a pretty nice uh, dashboard <laughs> for some, this is some random toy, I think. I mean, it's got no detail on the bottom, right? It's solid plastic tires uh, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this came in one of those capsule machines a gashapon thing okay now the question is so now the body is a little bit too wide so I might have to file away these edges oh that's actually pretty flat so darn I don't know if this is gonna work at all it's so close I definitely know that these studs have to go. So, just lose those things. Unfortunately, you know, the circuitry is so close to the edge here, I don't think it would be advisable to try to sand down the width of this, this uh, PCB board. 
but I'm trying to see if I can actually just uh, jam it in there because it's so close. It's like a, I would say, might be two or three millimeters too wide. But if this plastic can flex. Oh, look at that. I got the rear in there. Oh, seems to be a spare tire. Might have to glue that back on later. Okay, so if I jam the rear in first, it's actually helping to spread the body. <laughs> Look at this. I think uh, for a makeshift uh, lowrider SUV, it might be alright. So now it's like the the plastic lights of the Mini are a little bit too, um, they're too long. It's preventing it from sliding in all the way. So I guess I might have to sand down these uh, headlights here. Well, or I'll just take some clippers here. This clear plastic is not the LED. The LED is this little yellow square, so it's just a, a light conduit. If I polish the edges yeah, smooth, yeah, it should, you know, work again pretty nicely. Or even actually might be better if it's a rough surface. Well, I think I'm about to take a Dremel to it, but I'm not going to make you guys watch, watch me do that. So, <laughs> look at this thing. Yeah, let's turn this thing on just for, for fun here. So, oh, all right, give me give me some time here, guys. I'm gonna uh, see if I can actually get those taller tires on this thing and try to make a, a high rise. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so I, you know, swapped the wheels. Unfortunately, I drilled right through this wheel. You know, the other ones are okay, but it turns out these wheels are not gonna work because it actually hits the motherboard. It can't steer. You know, they're they're just too tall. And uh, I don't think it'll be easy to raise this uh, motherboard or whatever, the PCB board. I guess it's not a motherboard, it's not a computer. But anyways, uh, yeah, let me see if I can find some other wheels that might work. Alright, so I've got some uh, NO64 wheels here. Uh, these came with the, one of the Honda Civic ATs. Uh, I think that was what it was called. But anyways, there's the second wheel set from that uh, NO64 Honda. And uh, I had to drill out the middle part of it with a 1.3 millimeter drill bit. And you gotta be careful not to blow through the whole wheel. So I put a piece of tape on my uh, drill bit, kind of like, uh, like that as a marker, you know, so I know where to stop. And unfortunately, you can't really get the rear very far on because uh, <laughs> there just isn't enough plastic so the rear, the rear is actually wider than the front for for me but luckily this body kit doesn't seem to care and so with the body I, I took a dremel and on the slowest setting you know I just started shaving away some plastic and also in particular the fenders because uh, these wide tires are were dragging and the and the steering was also stopping against the plastic so I had to shave out as much as I could because the original wheels are just so small, right? So if I'm gonna fit uh, bigger tires, you know, here's the original wheel, and then here's the NO64. So naturally, I have to shave the, the fenders quite a bit. If I just stuck on these things, it wouldn't be an issue, but then it'd look totally goofy on an SUV. So I'm just uh, adding some black paint right now, and then uh, I gotta black out the window because you can see the battery pack. And uh, unfortunately these tail lights don't have a post running to the back so no light can get through and they seem to be crazy glued on. I can't break them off. Uh, the front I drilled some holes 
again, they were blanked off, but I drilled some holes and I just stopped where I saw the drill bit. It's not very pretty to look at, but a little bit of light shines through. But I actually had to clip off all that transparent stuff with the LEDs because uh, it was colliding with the, the underside of the, the hood there. So that it was actually colliding with the back here as well. So anyways, after I paint all that black and make it opaque, I'm gonna put some spacers in there and then uh, you'll see how it runs. All right, so give me, give me another break. Okay, well I uh, pretty much finished. I added a little plastic here and what that is for is to back the chassis against it so it aligns the wheelbase. And then I just have a little cork spacer here for lightweight. And uh, I had to black out some of the body because the light is so bright that it was actually shining through the fenders. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I just pop it in from the back, just like this. And then as long as I push it towards the back, it's pretty much aligned with the, uh, the wheelbase, right? So, there we go. And then you can see, hopefully, some of the headlights shining through. Hopefully, right? Unfortunately, nothing in the back. Okay, so let's take a, a little for a spin here. Oops. So it seems to work fine. Uh, the only issue is the tires, you know, by Inno, they're not high, they're not very soft. So the thing, the thing caused a like, few burnouts. Here. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Uh, maybe, maybe the other one would do a burnout too, but this is really easy to do burnouts because the, the tire compound is pretty hard. Alright, so, but anyways, I'm pretty happy with it. There's actually nothing really wrong with this mini body provided by Turbo Racing. I mean, it's got uh, silver around the headlights, the silver on the door handle, the blinker there. The cockpit is blacked out, of course, because of the LEDs which shine through. And then there's even something on the license plate. All it really needs is a little silver on the exhaust tips, I think. But it's a really lightweight shell, so I'm not sure how much I didn't really weigh. It's definitely heavier, this one, because the thing is such thick plastic. You know, I had to dremel out so much of the plastic. And it's just a, a bigger, I think, well, no, it's not really a bigger vehicle. It's just thicker plastic. So this one, I would guess maybe this is like half the weight of this. Well... Now, does that really slow it down or affect its runtime? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure it affects the runtime, but I'm not sure if it'll slow it down or not. So, anyways, for a more scale appearance with some more realistic looking wheels, you might want to look up this uh, this body here on eBay or, or whatnot, or try some other 170, 176 scale vehicles. All right. Okay, well, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Thanks, we'll see you around.